Hey folks, I'm Peter Mel Horn, and in this video we're going to try to find some catfish in some tough winter conditions. This one, let's see if he stayed button. No, he did not. Dang it. That's the first hit I've had in three different spots fishing. Came back here to the back of a creek shallow. Tried some places out there on the main lake. Nothing. This bait may have been too big for that fish. I don't know. Tie it back up, get it back in the water. Maybe another one will go here in a second. But yeah, it's been tough tough fishing it's dead calm it's not that bad water's cold it's 48 degrees but uh said i've been sitting for a long time and have not that's the first bite that i've had well folks that view right there is absolutely gorgeous uh sadly the fishing uh is not comparable uh the fishing's bad i've had that one bite and that's it uh, this is spot number three or four, and there's been one bite. So I uh, tried this shallow. I'm going to work my way back out. I see a bunch of birds coming in here. I'm going to go give that a shot, try anchoring up there. Uh, sun's starting to set. We ain't got much longer. And uh, so far, the only thing we've got is skunk on the boat. All right, folks, sun setting low. Uh, I'm gonna pack it on in. No fish today. A big zero uh, anchored up in this last spot, and it just ain't happening. I'm gonna try getting back out here tomorrow and uh, try something a little different. Well, I had the next day off, so after a good night's rest, I decided to get out there and see if I could put some fish in the boat one more time. I'm gonna tell y'all what this fishing is turning into uh, tough, tough, tough mo. Uh, fish yesterday, never caught a fish. Uh, anchored in some spots, had a little bit of current, tried some backwater, uh, had one bite and it never hooked up and it wasn't even a good solid bite. I'm uh, dragging some baits today, just trying something different, a little more uh, mid-lake, some creek mouths out of the current, areas that aren't affected by it and so far hadn't had a rod move. So uh, I'm going to keep trying some things here uh, just to see what works, but right now it looks like we're transitioning into a bad, bad bite cycle. I kind of don't know how to act. I got a rod that just went off. The first hookup I've had all day. That first area I drifted probably took an hour and a half. Probably, I don't know, a mile. Three quarters of a mile I drifted. Never had a bite. The only times the rods moved was when they got hung up. I'll take that back. I think I did have one bite. Anyway, I came back here into a creek, anchoring up just to see if this makes a difference. Why does that leader look light? There's part of the suspected problem covered in mud. A lot of mud on that fish. I got a feeling there's a lot of them laid up in the mud right now. Got one in the boat. Man, it's tough, tough fishing. Didn't get a fish all day yesterday. It's the only one I've got today. It's tough. They're going into that lockdown mode that's inevitable when the water temperatures get like this. So all you can do is keep fishing. Well, just had a rod go. Is he? Yeah, he's there. Man, I made a move. I just decided to ride it out till sunset and come up here and anchor in the river. See if I can get one big one. Water's barely moving. I don't have the current that they've had, so 
maybe that'll be enough to change the game around a little bit here it's tough this is a tough of fishing this you'll experience on this lake this is a small blue i don't barely hooked barely hooked on that one probably gonna pop that one loose lifting it in And there's nice and clean. There's no mud on this one. Not sure what the deal is with him. He's got a little mud on his back. They getting her upside down. I don't get it. There's some on its side. Good looking fish. Healthy. Good looking fish. That's two. This rod moved a minute ago. Can't tell if it's a fish or a log. It moved. It didn't move anymore. It's not, I don't feel a head shake on it. Uh, he's wrapped, that's why. Wrapped in a couple lines. That explains why I didn't feel a head shake. He's lassoed. That's why he was coming in so heavy. I'll break the line on him. There we go. He truly is lassoed. Easy. Easy. Quit twisting. Your life's going to be a lot easier here in a second. There we go. Pretty fish. You're just tied up in a knot down there. Er, 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 er. Fish back a lot. Go my hand. Let go. Let go. Well, this is the bad hand that uh, winter will inevitably deal you when it comes to catching catfish. It can be a great time to catch some big fish. I uh, always look forward to winter. I always catch some great fish, and I have this year. But at some point, all the things that make it great magically go away. I don't know really what all it is that makes it great, but it's like it all of a sudden ends, and man, it gets tough to catch fish, and that's where we're at right now. Uh, the good news is, you can still catch some monsters. You can still catch some good fish. Uh, you just have to get content with the very slow less than one fish an hour catch rates and uh, keep fishing tough it out in the cold and just be thankful that uh, you're able to get out here and fish <laughs>